I've been having some super annoying issues with my Ledger Nano wallet, and I have a feeling that you may have had a similar experience. I've had issues connecting my Ledger to my computer, I've had issues connecting Ledger Live through a portal to MetaMask, and I've had issues with pending transactions because I can't get all this stuff to work. And honestly, at times, it's been a nightmare, especially when you're trying to snipe a good NFT that's priced below market value, and your Ledger's not connecting, you can't confirm the transaction, and you lose the opportunity to make tons of money. Sorry, I've just had a lot of feelings about this recently, and it's been pretty frustrating. So I've spent hours trying to fix these issues and I'm making this video so that you don't have to. And by the end of this video, you're gonna have at least two great solutions to some of the common problems with the Ledger wallet that I've seen online and that I've experienced personally. I'm Devin Cook, let's chat for a little bit, just you and I, and welcome back to Dev Money. Now before we get into fixing these issues, there's two little hacks that you need to do first that's really gonna help things just run more smoothly. And the first one is to update all of your software, all of your firmware. That means you need to update the Ledger Live app to the newest firmware on your computer. You need to update the crypto apps on the ledger itself, whether it be Ethereum or Bitcoin or Cardano or whatever else, make sure they're all updated. And you also need to make sure that your ledger software is fully up to date as well. And just a couple of days ago, Ledger came out with firmware update 2.0 for the ledger. Now I personally haven't updated my ledger to firmware 2.0 yet. So all the solutions I'll be showing you will work on older versions of firmware. And hopefully with firmware update 2.0, we don't have these issues to begin with, but I've yet to test that out for myself. And the second thing you need to do after making sure all of your software softwares are up to date, you need to make sure that in your MetaMask, you have enabled support for Ledger Live. Now to enable Ledger Live on your MetaMask, all you're gonna do is you're gonna open your MetaMask on your computer and you're gonna click on your profile button. And then underneath there, you're gonna see settings. You're gonna click that and then you're gonna click advanced settings. You're gonna scroll down quite a little bit and then you're gonna see the Ledger Live toggle. You need to activate that Ledger Live toggle and switch it on. Otherwise, your MetaMask will not interface with Ledger Live. And if they're not interfacing, you won't be able to approve transactions and you won't be able to do anything. So make sure you enable Ledger Live on MetaMask. So make sure all of your firmware is up to date and make sure you've enabled Ledger Live on your MetaMask. And once you've done that, we're good to go. Now let's talk about some solutions. Now the first issue that I wanna talk about is clearing pending transactions. Now you may be wondering to yourself, how do you even get pending transactions on MetaMask? Whenever I buy or sell crypto or NFTs, the transaction goes through really quick. Now typically that's gonna be the case if everything's running smoothly and you're able to approve your transaction, the portal's open, up, Ledger Live works just great. You'll be able to sign your transaction, get your NFT or buy your crypto, whatever it is, and you don't have any pending transactions because usually the blockchain is pretty quick. But the issue I have had is when the portal is not opening, Ledger Live is not working, it's not recognizing my ledger, and I've pressed buy NFT on OpenSea, and now I have this pending transaction in my MetaMask, but I can't approve it on my ledger. And so then I'll have disconnected my ledger and everything, and I'm just like, what am I gonna do? I have this pending transaction. Well, this is how you get rid of it. And you can do this without paying any gas fees as well. So that's really nice to know. Now to clear any pending transactions on MetaMask, it's gonna be really simple. You're just gonna go back into your MetaMask on your computer, you're gonna click on your profile button, go down again, to settings, go down again to advanced settings, and then scroll down just a little bit. And then you're gonna see where it says reset account. Now, don't be worried, it's not a big deal. You're not actually like resetting the entire thing. You won't have to put in your seed phrase again. All it's doing is just clearing out all of your transactions. Once you press that button, you're gonna see that now you don't have any more pending transactions. Everything's kind of settled, everything's back to normal. You don't have to put in your seed phrase again. You don't even have to put in your password, but it's gotten rid of those pending transactions. So if you've had that issue with pending transactions, that's the solution. Now, another super annoying issue that I've had with my ledger is when I'm going to try and do something, whether sending crypto or buying an NFT or sending an NFT, and I go to connect my ledger to my computer, I connect it via USB, I put in my little password on my ledger, I open up Ledger Live and I go into the manager, and then on my OpenSea, whenever I hit buy or on my MetaMask, whenever I hit, you know, send the crypto funds, whatever I'm gonna do, what I get on my Ledger Live is basically this message that says, open the Ethereum app on your wallet. So, okay, I press both buttons on my ledger, I open the Ethereum app and then it says connect your ledger to your computer and I'm like well it's already connected it should be just fine and then it waits for a second and then it says okay open the ethereum app and I open the ethereum app and then it says connect it to your computer and I'm like well, it's already connected and I spent so much time disconnecting and reconnecting and putting in my little password again and connecting and reconnecting and disconnecting and all these things and it just gets a bit crazy so what I found to be a good solution that works for me and I hope it works for you what I do is I close down ledger live and I close down chrome and I think this is actually the key factor because I've just closed down Chrome before and sometimes this just solves the problem. But I'll close down Chrome and I'll close down Ledger Live and I'll disconnect my ledger from my computer. Then what I do is I reconnect my ledger to my computer and I put it in my little password and now it's good to go. And then I open Chrome and then I open Ledger Live and then I do whatever I'm gonna do, you know, buying the NFT and then it works 
works just fine. And it doesn't give me this repeating message of connecting my ledger and opening the Ethereum app and connecting my ledger and opening the Ethereum app and over and over and over and over and over. It just kind of works after that. But I do think that the main fix here is actually restarting Chrome. If you're on a Mac, don't just hit the little red X. Hit Command Q to totally quit Chrome and you'll be good to go. Now this third issue is the biggest issue I've had to deal with and honestly, it was so annoying and it took so long to figure out the solution, but I figured it out and it works perfectly. Because sometimes I go to hit buy and I go to hit sign the transaction on my MetaMask and everything's good to go. And you expect to see this window pop up in Chrome that says, you know, open Ledger Live. And then you hit yes and it opens Ledger Live. And then it says open WebSocket Bridge. And then you hit yes. And now you can essentially sign your transaction and it's gonna get sent over to your Ledger wallet and you can hit sign and approve the transaction. But the issue is when you go to hit buy or you go to hit send on your MetaMask and then nothing happens. You're just sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting and nothing happens. And you go into Ledger Live and you're like, okay, I'm sitting here in Ledger Live. Like, why is the portal not opening up? Where's the WebSocket bridge? Like nothing is getting sent over to my ledger. So how do I prove transactions? And this is typically how I get those pending transactions all queued up in my MetaMask. Now the solution to this is actually surprisingly simple. All you have to do is just copy and paste this address into your browser and then hit enter. And then it's gonna give you that little message that says open up Ledger Live and then it's gonna open up the WebSocket bridge. And I found the solution to this on Reddit from this user, thank you very much. It's been extremely helpful. So if you're having this issue where the WebSocket bridge isn't starting up, just copy and paste this address and you're good to go. Everything should be fine. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Goodbye.